Welcome to the Timeless Isle, a land of dragons, cow people, and half a million gold battle pets? That's a ridiculous amount of gold. That's like three tokens straight out. If you farmed every pet in the island and sold one of each, it would be worth 1.1 million gold. To me, this makes the Timeless Isle the best battle pet farm in the game. First, though, there's a couple of things you're going to need. You absolutely need gliders. You can pick those up at the auction house, or you can buy them from this kit if you're cheap or broke. The second item you need is the Cursed Swabby Helmet. The Cursed Swabby Helmet is a toy that vastly increases your swim speed and allows infinite underwater breathing and is the basis of this farm. The toy is located in a chest south of the PCU village underwater near the cursed monkey pirate ghost ship thing. All of the cursed swabbies in the area have a chance to drop the key to open the chest and the chest itself has a 50% drop chance for the toy. If you get unlucky, you might have to wait a couple of times for it to respawn. Once you get the toy, get four max level characters to the island and set their hearthstones there. With the way everything is right now with the Dalaran hearthstone and all the ways to get around in the game, you don't really need your main hearth set anywhere else. Once you get all your characters on the island, you can start the farm route. Head north and go to the location marked on the map. From here, just start murdering ancient spine claw crabs. They will respawn in the order that you kill them in, so try to establish some semblance of a route for yourself. I've traced out an optimal route on the map here for you. On the southern side of the island, there are three rare mobs that are worth checking out for their battle pass. Gucci the Swarmbringer, Zugon, and Bufo. Each of these drop a good battle pet and it's always worth crawling out of the water to check on them. Once you reach the end of the farm route, swim straight south into the ocean until you see the text change to timeless waters. From here you can get on a flying mount and go straight up. Fly upwards until about halfway through your fatigue bar, and then glide straight forward into the island. There's no set route to follow when you're gliding, just check around for mobs that might drop a battle pet. The order that I check them in is Garnia, Leafmender, Cinderfall, and Hulan. Cinderfall and Hulan did not drop pets, but I would absolutely love that mount. <laughs> From there, I usually go to the Jade Fire Cavern and check the pet in there before restarting the route. It's kind of pointless to get there before a certain time, and you may as well just glide around the island and check for other battle pets because the crabs seem to be on a six or seven minute respawn. If you get there too fast, you're just going to be sitting on the beach waiting for crabs to spawn, and that's no fun. After your second lap, log out at the start of the route and get on to your next character. Because of the 15 minute duration and hour long cooldown, you can use these four characters to have 100% uptime on the Cursed Swabby debuff just by swapping tunes. You can get about 2 laps per tune and 8 laps per hour. It's not necessarily a fast farm, and it's very luck dependent. The monstrous spine claws have a chance to spawn anywhere that the ancient spine claws might. Their spawn isn't linked to a timer and is instead forcible by massacring the crabs in the water. Try to kill every single crab because if you miss any, that's just less chances for loot. You could go quite a while without seeing a monstrous spine claw and then see two to three in the same spot. 
It's very luck dependent. And that about wraps it up for this Battle Pet Farm. Like and subscribe and keep your eyes out for new videos.